Hi everyone, this is Cindy. Uh, today I'm going to do for you a tiger mask. It's one of my favorites because it's pretty easy to do and it's pretty fast to do as well. So I hope you will enjoy. Okay, I'm going to start with the base, which is I will paint the color around my eyes. And to do it, I use this frangipani uh, tag color, so it's pretty easy to use. And instead of using my sponge sideways, I'm going to use it using just the end of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint starting from the corner of your eyebrow. And I'm just going to do kind of a rainbow or half circle and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side but I'm going to use the other side of, of my sponge to do this <clears throat> so I just rub it and then same thing corner of my eyebrow and I'm just going to go down just like this and again so now I've done both sides now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color just underneath of what I just did so the arc that I just did but I'm gonna put my sponge the other way around so just like this and I'm gonna color my eye just a little bit and I'm gonna go down and just under my eye just like this as you can see now I've done both sides so now I need to cover uh, the middle part as you can see there's a space empty there so what I will do is I will use the palest yellow that I have in the cake so I will just use that one and I will sponged it around just like that and I'm just going to use the back of my sponge and I'm just going to blend it in just like this next I'm going to use my number four brush and I'm going to start doing the black tiger lines uh, around the mask so for that one I'm using Wolf Brothers Black and let's start with I'm gonna start just around the eyes I'm just gonna put a lot of uh, paint on my brush here so what I do is I just go just gonna move the camera a little bit because I kind of have to be in the mirror to do this so what I do is I start right in the corner here I'm just gonna do just kind of a, a line and I'm gonna do the other side so just to make a fierce tiger and then with the rest just gonna do some little I'm gonna do three V's like one two three but just with little lines just like this and like that same thing here same thing on the other side just gonna put a little bit more and just a smaller one right here see just like that and I'm gonna do some around the eyes as well so I'm gonna do one just from the corner here and I'm gonna go up as I go up I'm gonna go a little bit bigger same thing but this one I'll bring it down a little bit bigger see just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I don't know if you can see pretty well, but I'm just doing some lines and same thing, bigger as I go towards the end, and there you go. So 
so I have some lines. I'm going to do just a little bit more towards the bottom, just like this. I'm going to start really, really small here because I want to outline my mask and then bigger as you can see and same thing on the other side. I'm going to do some lines and bigger as I go down just like that. And I'm just going to do some little ones just here so that way these ones you don't need that many just a little bit just like that and again on the other side just like this so now you have the tiger lines and the next I'm going to use the white and I'm going to just do the same thing but on top of the black that I just did okay I'm ready to do the white um, marks on top of my uh, black lines and for this one I'm using uh, the fab paint and this is called the white shimmer one so it kind of gives a little sparkle to the color and here we go so just above it not as many as the black but I'm just gonna do just a little bit as you can see just doing a little bit and I'm just gonna load my brush and the same thing with this one just a little bit just some dabs here and there bottom one it kind of gives it a three-dimensional lines and these ones There you go. So all the gray is done. Now I'm just going to do dots here and there just to finish the mask. So I'm using the black again and I'm just going to do some dots. So I'm going to do some around the eye just like here. Same thing on the other side. Oh, just another one here. Looks equal. And then I'm going to do some just here and there. So that's for one side and it doesn't need to be exactly the same spots but I like to be symmetrical on my mask so there we go I'm gonna do four here and some here to fill in the spots one, two, three, four. There you go. So there you have it. This is a pretty easy tiger mask to do. Yes, it took me some time to do it today because I had to show it to you, but usually it takes me less than two minutes to do this mask. If you have any comments or any suggestions, don't hesitate. You can always comment in here. Thank you. Bye-bye.